cheers to you guys. In yeah. swim, who was your favorite performance? Nobody yeah. really like messed up. When India came down the pipe, welcome to the after after party. Lily's in the background battling an invisible monster. Monster. So we are going to recap. <laughs> She's battling a witch. So let's talk about first of all the opening number. Good. Unbelievable. Stage was amazing, opening number was amazing, the performers were amazing. Production value was high. Unbelievable. Let's get into the top 16. Starting with France. Colombia. Singapore. Panama. Puerto Rico. The Bahamas for the first time ever. Japan. Great Britain, good pick. USA. India. Vietnam. Aruba. Woohoo! Paraguay. Philippines. Venezuela, South Africa, and okay, we can get into this a little bit. What I realized, South Africa fan vote, yeah, made it to the top three. Has that ever happened? I have no idea, actually. Now that you say that, so South Africa was the fan vote, yet she made it literally until the very end into the top three. So yeah. that's pretty amazing, because typically it's just like, the fan vote makes it in, and then they don't actually move on in the competition. I think arguably the biggest surprises being in the top 16 would have been the Bahamas, Aruba, and Great Britain. Great Britain, I had in my predictions, which was my proud moment of the night. <laughs> the Bahamas, I think, was a surprise for a lot of people, but she was amazing up there. Yeah, she was, and then went on to make it into the top 10, which... So did Aruba. Aruba did as well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Aruba was the, arguably the dark horse. Not in the top 16. Spain, Brazil, Mexico, Belgium. Thailand. Belgium. Probably many others. Many, yeah, lots. Everybody else. Real Argentina, Costa Rica, Kenya, Chile, and probably more. <laughs> yeah. So moving on into the top 10. Yeah. Oh, sorry. This is the official top 10. So into the, the official, official, official top 10. Paraguay. Puerto Rico. USA. India. South Africa. The Bahamas. Philippines. France. Colombia. And Aruba. And so those women made it into the top 10 after swim and in swim. Who was your favorite performance? I loved yeah. India, France, Philippines, no. Colombia. They liked USA and swim too. Yeah. I think USA like kept at the top of my list through the top 16 and then yeah, yeah into swim going into the top 10. And yeah, I, I loved India as well. And then from the top 10, the women were in their gowns. And yeah. as soon as USA came out in her gown, he was like, no, she's not gonna win. Yeah. It's it's hard to put into words. Mm -hmm. It's it's hard what it to is. yeah because yeah like she was my favorite so I wanted I'm my her to too. yeah she was my prediction yeah my USA prediction. was our predicted winner in the videos that we put out you almost like don't want to admit that like that you don't think she's gonna make it but yeah as soon as I saw her I didn't I didn't think she was gonna make it into the top five mm -hmm. just something about the, maybe the way she was walking or just how she was carrying herself the mm -hmm. confidence that she was lacking perhaps or just mm -hmm. like in general the gown that she was wearing or how she was presenting anyway we had that feeling that mm -hmm. she wouldn't appear in the top five mm -hmm. in opposition when India came down the pipe down the stairs the pipe. <laughs> wearing the gown she was wearing which was different than she wore at prelims we were like yep yeah. There she could be. I don't want to say there she is, but there she could be at the time. France wore a different gown, and it wasn't the gown. It was just she was maybe the walk. It just wasn't it. No. It wasn't it. Sadly, it wasn't it. And then from that top ten, we went down to a top five. Cool. Do you want to announce them, or do you sure. want me to keep it consistent? The official official top five, starting with India, South Africa, Paraguay, Colombia, Philippines. That's official, official. That's official. Now, this top five question and answer was a little chaotic for me. Nobody yeah. really, like, messed up, but nobody, like, blew us away. Yeah, in, uh, right. Out of everybody in the question and answer for me, I thought India was the best. For sure. India yeah. was and in the top five. If they were going to crown someone from the top five, it would have been India. For sure. Then the top three. <laughs> South Africa. India. Paraguay. And of those three, I think most people were shocked to see South Africa just after the fact she was fan vote and everything, but her gown was amazing. Her answer was good in the top five. Part of what she said is nothing 
I would have ever said, but she said it Ma, with confidence I want and obviously wasabi, mama. sure and obviously she believed in it. Yeah. But then of the top three, India's was the best answer. Paraguay. South Africa being the second runner up and then India and Paraguay standing there and India yeah. put her hands on top, <laughs> which seems to be a, a reoccurring theme. If you guys have heard of this or noticed this before, it seems as though the country who puts their hand on top. The woman who puts her hands right. on top. The woman who puts her hand on top most often wins. Yes. Whether or not there's any science behind that. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because all women in pageantry know this. Right. So much so that we've talked about the, this. The battle. In When I was competing for Miss Universe Canada, the girl that was the first runner up to me and I went to go hold hands and it was like we were both going like this and our one hand was like this. Or yeah. hand? We were like going, my hand was like this and she was like, <laughs> it was like, so anyways, India yeah. is the winner of Miss Universe. Well, if you joined us in our live streams, uh, we had a live stream and then we had an after party. Mm -hmm. One of the things I said in both is that I really want all of us to focus on celebrating all the women. Celebrating whether they placed or not and where they placed. For example, Puerto Rico. People were saying, why didn't, she, why didn't Puerto Rico move on? Why didn't Puerto Rico move on? Why didn't Vietnam move on? Right. Who knows? It's destiny for them to place where they placed, and I think we need to celebrate where they were. Amazing that Philippines made the top five. Amazing. Amazing that Great Britain made the top 16. Like, let's celebrate where the women placed rather than try to like pick apart if she would have done this, if she would have done that, as well as just acknowledging that all these women are amazing in their own ways because we said it almost seems like the fans start battling with each other like us like people come at us like you guys were wrong you don't like this country you don't like this person blah 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 and we're like we're just over here cheering everyone on ultimately like even if we don't mention a country in every single video for example miss venezuela we thought miss venezuela was amazing just because we didn't highlight her in every single video doesn't mean we don't like her yeah yeah i mean i even saw something as as silly as south africa deserved to be first runner up instead of second runner up and you can go back and forth with all these things and I think that people just want to be, they just want to fight, you know, they just, they, they want somebody to be like, no, you're wrong, like South Africa didn't even deserve to be in the top five, like whatever. So anyway, it was fun. I mean, it was, it's cool that it's over. It's almost sad that it's over. I, I, I felt the same way in May once the competition mm -hmm. was over and I guess in a sense the year before, it's just, it's, it's this big build up for this mm -hmm. so, so much anticipation for the coronation night and then it happens and it's like well now what now what, now do, we what do we do <laughs> so it's christmas no. time yeah it's, it's there's a lot to look forward to still and um yeah very deserving winner in india and i i thought she she brought her stuff and mm -hmm. yeah she's super deserving of mm -hmm. this title mm -hmm. so we cannot wait to see what Miss India, now the 70th Miss Universe, does throughout her reign, throughout her year. And we're excited to follow the other contestants and see where their journey takes them because for all of them, Miss Universe was just the first part of their, the rest of their journey. I can't wait to see India in the, in the crown and her official photo shoot and everything that goes with that because yeah, I think that she'll, she'll be a great Miss Universe, a great representative of the brand and yeah, I'm looking forward to following along. And the last time India won Miss Universe was 2000 mm -hmm. with Laura Dutta. I think prior to that was 1994, Sashmita Sen, who was a judge at Miss Universe. She was one of my judges when I competed. So mm -hmm. India, I feel like is back on fire in the pageant world which is amazing to see. Totally. Yeah, so let us know what you guys think in the comments, what you thought of this show, a, a surprise for you maybe, or or just like your favorite moment from the night. And uh, yeah, well, uh, I don't know what the next video will be at this no, point. Yeah. Here's a, a cheers to another fun and exciting Miss Universe season. And I'm sure we'll figure something else out for more videos. But yeah, this is... Uh, we're gonna follow. We're gonna follow. Follow the new Miss India along through her the journey. New Miss yeah, the, yeah, that's good. <laughs> the new Miss Universe through her journey, Miss India, and uh... cheers to you guys. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for coming to our live stream, our after party. Yeah. We'll see you guys in the next video.